We've kind of got a, an idea. Let's see if we can take our time and work in and see if we can find something. Conservation Officer Charlie Justice and students from Homedale High School are on the trail of a potential deer poaching. If we're looking for a kill site, what are we going to be looking for? It's the same as our day-to-day -day job of investigating wildlife poaching, and we've put it into a classroom setting so the students could understand how it works. Officer Justice shows his trainees how modern CSI techniques are used to investigate a wildlife crime. They analyze the site, collect blood samples, photograph tire tracks, document everything, and follow the evidence. We've got a drag trail. Drag trails are fun because now we just follow the drag trail and see where we go. So let's follow. The trail leads the group to a suspect who just happens to be their science teacher. I see that there's a, a gun case. Is there a rifle in the case? What I learn is the detail that, that's involved, uh, how careful you have to be, and how important it is to be uh, recording all of your information and and that's what we have to do in science. Back in the classroom, students study the evidence including that's DNA the analysis which connects here. blood at the so crime scene to, to items in the truck. The we all felt that he was the the poacher but we didn't have enough evidence then so we had to wait till we can get these tests done. Case closed and another he successful right wildlife crime scene investigation sparks an interest in saw the saw natural the world. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was fun and it looks like a fun job to work at Fish and Game and do that kind of stuff. I never really thought that they would go that in depth about solving a animal murder. <laughs> Show you how to catch the bad guys, you know, like even if you're good at it, they'll probably still find out, so you shouldn't do it. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.